Dear blockchain and crypto trader and community, welcome to this weekly trade of the week video provided by T-Rox. We will give a short analysis on BTC, Ethereum and giving insights into the trade of the week and how we evaluated the trade. First of all, in a long position, the buy point always should be lower than the sell point to gain profits. And here are some reasons to buy. If you have a huge dip and no rebounds in the asset yet, or if the asset is having upcoming news or the technical analysis is showing some good opportunities, you can evaluate good entry points as well as if there is a vola or volume breakout. So if the whole market or the whole asset is moving or seen in increase in volume, you can indicate a breakout maybe soon. Or if a project that you think it's worth it, it's not the bottom out, this of course would be a long term portfolio entry when you think that this could perform good in the future. These are, for example, some reasons to buy. If we are now taking a look on the reasons to sell. We can easily see that there are a few different options when you can sell an asset. First of all, when your stop loss hits or if you're trailing stop loss hits, that means when the market is moving upwards, you're always tra trailing your stop loss to the top. And after a time, the trailing stop loss hits, you can easily sell. Or if the indicators or your technical analysis is showing a trend change to the downside again, you can book the profits. Or when you just feel comfortable with the profits you are gained right now, you as well can just close the position. Often, when we're touching resistance levels, the market will drop down or drop below from the current price a little to then touch the resistance levels again. This as well indicates a reason to sell. All in all, there is no golden rule for selling or buying. These are just a few options I, would, I wanted to give you to have an idea about it and always use a stop loss to secure most of your funds. If we are now taking a look on our trade of the week. We are always posting on Facebook, Instagram and co. We can see that last week, so the week before this week started, we saw a consolidation in the cryptos and after a strong last week before, the market went for a small and healthy correction. Due to this, all top 10 coins were quite in the red and so we keep most of the funds safe. But we still uh, holding a bag of Bitcoin, Ethereum and other altcoins and close matic against BTC with around 7% profit. The markets needed a clear trend confirmation for the next days before the new positions could be entered with the minimized risk ratio. And what we will see now is that exactly this happened and we could enter new positions. So let's head over. We are now taking a look on Bitcoin for the last days. We can easily see a few things. How I said after a strong week before, we had a dip and a correction. After this correction, the market went down a little due to low volume in this area. After consolidation, we slided a little down. We had low volume, so there was a sell-off in the market. Afterwards, we found the local bottom and bottomed out. In Bitcoin, for example, after a clear trend confirmation around 8,400, we went in and having the trailing stop loss trade up to 9,000. Uh, right now so that we are still good in profits when the market is turning around. What we as well can see is that as the MA100 went above the MA200 line, the market reacted explosively to the top. So here we can see that the last 100 days were quite better and more bullish than the last 200 days. And Bitcoin seems to be very, very bullish. We can see that the RSI is bullish scenario. So what we as well can see is that there was a resistance level around 8,700 we just broke through. Then we had this magical 9,000 line we just broke after we tried to break it once we just broke through. We had a dip but we could hold the 9,000 levels over quite a long time and then at the MA crossed the lines we saw an explosively increase in the market volume and in the market. At this moment we're sitting around 9,300 in Bitcoin. Now I said we went in around 8,400 after we saw a trend confirmation. So we're holding a nice position in Bitcoin. In Ethereum we can easily see the same. Ethereum not looking that nice as Bitcoin due to altcoins often dropping more than Bitcoin when the market is turning red. So after a strong week in this consolidation phase, we saw a new local low 
on Ethereum before the trend started or before the market started to grow. As well, here we saw this high volatility not really giving us a real signal market movement over here. Did you after we saw a trend, we saw a counter trend immediately. But afterwards, exactly like on Bitcoin, after the trend confirmation was clear, we went in to have now gained a trading stop loss, which secured us good profit as well. The MA100 as well here broke the MA200 and the market reacted with an explosively gain to the top. If we're taking a look over here, after the MA crosses the line, we just went up 4% again. So here you can easily see that the people are willing to buy when something good is happening. As well, the RSI is quite in a bullish scenario. The MACD is positive again on Ethereum again. So all in all, even Ethereum looking mid to long term, very, very bullish short time frame, it would personally say it's too risky to enter. So if we're having now a consolidation phase holding 170 levels in Ethereum, we can easily see this as a new support line where you can buy back the coin once it's dipping there. Let's take a closer look on Ripple as well. Did you Ripple sold a lot of XRP token and the price not reacted that much. So people are thinking about that Ripple is having maybe some problems or coming along with some problems in the future. And what we can see is that this consolidation phase as well, like in all coins, ended up in a sliding downtrend with the local bottom. But how you can as well maybe see is we not went up that strong like on other altcoins. And this is quite interesting to see due to Ripple is still uh, third place on coin market cap, having still high volumes on the exchanges, but it's not the coin that it's traded the most. So people seems to losing some interest in Ripple due to nothing really happens. So the market reacted and Ripple of course reacted too. So the market went up and XRP went up too, but not as nicely as the other coins how you make at the end. The MA100 line is just now crossing the MA200 line. So while the other coins already had this cross a few days or a few hours ago, Ripple is just having this right now. All in all, Ripple seems not to be that bullish like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Even if the RSI was quite in a bullish scenario, the MACD was not up that much and based on support lines, we can see that Ripple built a support at um, 0.226 and at 0.17 as well as the local low at 0.214. Now we are in a consolidation phase in Ripple. Did you? We crossed this MA. This can lead us to a new local high to a consolidation phase, which would end up mostly in a sliding down phase in a correction, a healthy correction for the whole market. All in all, if you're interested in Ripple, taking a look on these support lines where to buy back Ripple, but all in all, Ripple seems not to be that bullish like Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOTH and other altcoins. This can come along with the problems Ripple is facing at this moment. You can easily take a look on all the news coming along with Ripple to May have an own. Last but not least, let us talk about the message trade of the week and this can be seen as a very easily trade. So what we saw over here in message is that we had a long consolidation phase. We went long sideways with an RSI uh, going up and down. We're quite in a bearish and bullish scenario with no market movement. And afterwards, we have this consolidation phase. We saw a huge volume spike. Um, just before the market shot up. So after we saw this volume spikes and saw trend confirmation, we went in at 184 levels to then having all these profits gained. As the market changed, we sold it back. This trade was just based on a volume breakout. We saw a consolidation phase with a volume breakout, which could indicate an upwards movement very very soon. I hope I could give you some insights in how we evaluated the trades, how we see the market, what we expect from the market. All in all the USDT market seems to be very very bullish midterm. At this moment if you're not entered right now stay out of the market, wait for new dips or a consolidation phase to take a look on um, whether the market will move to the top or to a correction downside. If you like this video, give a thumb up, like and share this video and we will hear us next time when it comes to trade of the week provided by T-Rox.